the wall. Uh, it's a Sunday. I hope everyone's okay. It's Sunday the 12th of January. I'm just running some trains on the layout. Uh, they're all in automation at the moment. I've got the uh, new Taoist loco, which is all commissioned on the system now. That's all running fine. That's just going past there now. And I've got what else have I got here now? I've got the Roco Tiger um, maintenance train coming through the tunnel now. Really like this Loco, it runs superb. Beautiful model for the money that I paid for it, it's great. It really is. That's running the maintenance wagons, the Flashman Crane, ESU telemetry coach there. And the steel coil train coming around with the, with the Wagner um, Towers class, special livery. The digital coil wagons, all those wagons there are all digital sound wagons that all have operating hoods, really good. Some Trix wagons following it up with a Fleischmann sliding door wagon. Also, I've got the Blee Tiger class loco ready to come out there. Switch some lights on. Yeah, I've got the uh, Blee Tiger, that's, right. that's on hold at the moment. As soon as that gets clearance, it'll run through that junction there and onto the main lines, the outer main line. And I've also got a Class 66 on hold at the moment, that's on automation. And that ESU Class 66 there, that's on hold, just waiting for a signal to get clearance to go across a certain junction at a certain time. So, yeah, it's all good fun. There's the, uh, the turntable, which has uh, took me quite a while to assemble all that over the years and get it all working right. Especially the turntable. That's had loads of modifications and that's running the uh, a cordless motor now on the turntable bridge and uh, ESU. Block pilot decoder to control it. Uh, got another Weissman placer there. I've just weathered up this wagon. Heavily weathered it. Like it's going to be stuck in the side where it's been just abandoned sort of thing. I, think it, I don't know, I think a bit, I went a bit over the top on this, but anyway, that's just sat on that side in there next to this coach. And I've actually ordered another weathered coach and a USA weathered wagon, which is really impressive. Got that coming in the post. And uh, got all the locos there in the sheds. I've not used them for a while actually. It's one good thing about the uh, roundhouse sheds is that they keep the dust off the uh, locos. And they've got a couple of the aerodynamic BR05, BR06 locos here. Fleischmann, digitally converted. That's digitally, digitally converted. And then I've got the uh, dynamic recyclable steam loco here. That's got Lock Sound 5 and the Roco Dynamic Smoke there. Digit the crane over there, the Roco one. Bravo 260 class. There's quite a few things going on. We added some detail to the uh, yard scrap, just random scrap. Stuff like that. I mean, some of the items I've used, like 
for example, that's a, a motor out of a GG1 loco, which was, it, it was no good, I had to replace the loco, the motor in the loco, so I thought, rather than throw that out, i just rust it up and put it in the yard as scrap. Just recycle stuff. I've added a coat of weather into these plastic uh, wheels, which were from the... Uh, these wheels here are the cheap plastic ones that came with that wagon. And, uh, I put proper decent wheels on that and just painted these up, put in the yard, look like the look like proper steel wheels now. And the artist architect crane there. It's a nice touch, right? So I've got some movement going on now. Um, just heard some points clicking. So yeah, the the yellow. Love Miller class, that's going to come now, come into its uh, storage yard now. That loco can work its way into various parts of the layout, but it's going to go back to where it started off from. Digital crane tricks is all working nice. That's all been reserviced. Got the two uh, heavy load wagons from uh, Marklin Tricks there. Another Ludmilla, Ludmilla class loco, another Roco one. Um, I've got this, I've had this in storage for a while actually. This is a, it's a really nice wagon with the uh, really detailed pipe load on there. Quite a detailed wagon that actually. The loads come off and got a detailed bed with the uh, stakes, you can have the stakes on the side of that. So, that's coming in. That one's on hold, that wants to come in next, but because I stopped that train when it was an automation, because I had to add a, another wagon, so that's out of synchronisation with the whole system at the moment, that Cyrus Loco, that's why it's on, it just stops itself. In an in a unmonitored piece of track, because it knows if it carries on and goes across this junction here, it'll crash. So we, anyway, that's the other one's just on hold because everything's out of synchronization. The, it's the automation is working it all out on the fly now. What should be done and problem solving on the fly because I deliberately, obviously, uh, stopped a train. And once you stop a train on automation, it knocks all the other trains out of synchronization. Like in real life, on a, on a timetable, on a real life train system. So anyway, that train is now gonna come across this junction. That's heading back into its uh, storage yard, which will, it'll end up stopping next to the, the ESU coach here. That'll stop about there. When that comes in and stops there, that'll have clearance then to come back into its storage yard and go through this complicated junction double slips here. Through two double slips and then through that point, through that double slip and it'll work its way back into the yard. And then when that goes back into the yard, the Class 66, which is on standby at the moment there, That'll have clearance to go out then. And then when that goes out, the Blue Tiger will come out, which is on the far end of the layout up there. So the, the Class 66 has now got clearance to just go to its next stage. There we go, that's going out and the other one's coming in, slowly. That's 66 going across the junction. That's going across that main junction. And you can see the other one where I said that's going to stop about there. 
all clever stuff and now that junction is will be clear in the next 60 seconds that junction will be clear for this train to then ca carry on with its journey back to the yard we'll just wait for that to uh for that next stage of the automation to work it's all good fun because you can just stand around this sort of uh Automation would be good if you were having a, mo a model railway at an exhibition. You could just let the computer do all the workings of it. As long as you've got really reliable point work, you could have a chat with people. And you don't have to worry about controlling you know, trains going around, multiple uh, decisions and all, working all the points. Because the most difficult thing is working all the points. So now... This one's got clearance to go across this yard now. I'll come back in. And remember, all this has all been mixed up. And I deliberately, well, sort of deliberately caused a problem by stopping a train and put it out, put it out of synchronisation for about two minutes. That's why. It's so good on the automation because it works out all the problems on the go and what points to uh, fire and what trains to hold in certain areas. Like class, 66, class 66 is just stopped there on that bit of track. And then it'll have the clearance to go across the main junction where that's just crossed, which is just set in now. Well, now I've got the Blue Tiger coming out, which is the new route for that's just been set on the far end of the layout. The ore train. Well, that's coming across. It'll just miss that electric low car, that blue one. That's another little isolated side in there. And let's have a look. We've got two trains. One stopping, one pulling off. And that'll just stop nice and gracefully. There, and then we've got a new route that's going to be set on this on this junction in a minute now. So let's pan around. Right, so that's got clearance to go back into its siding, into its storage siding. Now it's going backwards on the main line, which is uh, unrealistic, but that's how it is on this layout at the moment. So that's going to go back through the tunnel and it's going to park up. It's going to go into this side in here and we've got the automatic squeal sensors kicking in when it goes a slow speed this loco it's got the rail sensors and uh, when it goes around the curves it'll uh, you get the rail grind which is pretty good it's nice So that's heading back, the Blue Tiger, which shouldn't normally be there where it stops, but because it's uh, because of if it's out of synchronisation, it's been put on hold there by the automation, and that will start up again in a minute when it gets clearance, because that other train was blocking the main line, and it'll just come through through the tunnel. Through that set of uh, that right hand point. There we go. And that will just uh, come to a nice graceful halt there. 
which it has. New route's been set and the Blue Tiger has now got a safe route to carry on with its journey. Well, I could have changed that on the automation to make sure it doesn't occupy or enter any routes. There's loads of different settings you can put on drones. So that's now a build up speed and just carry on with its uh, journey. Now everything else has gone back where it should have done. Class 66 is on its siding, holding siding. The three trains that were out at the start, they're parked up in the in its storage sidings. And then we've got the uh, Blue Tiger which is coming through now and that's doing its run and then that'll be the end of uh, this automation. Looks great that train, it really does.